Oh, hey, here's the uh, stuff from today's math class. Uh, what we looked at was drawing angles in the standard position, a positive angle, making sure we rotate that way, and a negative angle, rotating this way. Yep. Good. Then we looked at some reference angles. So if you have, um, these were special case reference angles, but you can use any angle as a reference angle. Uh, just getting back to the x-axis, so either 180 or 360. And if we're in quadrant two, we're going to um, figure out what size angle adds to 180. 120 plus 60, 135 plus 45, 150 plus 30. One, if we're in quadrant three, uh, we're going to subtract to get to 180, so 210 minus 180, 225 minus 180. And if we're in quadrant four, we're trying to get to 360, so we add to 360. All right. That's the first thing we looked at. Next, we looked at some special triangles. Just be aware, right? The hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 triangle is root two times the uh, side length. And on a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is double the shorter side and the other side is root three times as big as the shorter side. You might have a special triangle that you have to solve the sides for. Not too big, so just remember that. Uh, then we drew an angle that went through the point 724, and we uh, had to find the hypotenuse, which is 7 squared plus 24 squared square rooted, which equals 25. You guys all seem to manage to do that very well. Then we looked at taking the, the trig ratios and finding the angles, and we ran into some confusion where um, sine was giving an angle of 74, while cosine was giving an angle of 106. And because of where we knew this angle was, it's in quadrant 2, and it's here. We knew the angle had to be 106, the 74 being the reference angle. Okay? And both of those angles, sine of 74 and sine of 106, gave us a um, decimal of 0 0.96 is our ratio. So we knew that that's kind of why that problem occurs. There's two points that have the same positive value. So the calculator just gives us the smallest one or the reference angle according to Jessica Gable. So you always get the reference angle with sine. It's kind of what it was came down to. Uh, then we went and just did, okay, well, let's just do finding some angles. So I gave a bunch of decimals and you had to find the two angles that could produce them. And so when you punch this into your calculator, you get 30. But where else is sine positive? We looked at all students take calculus, and then we made a little chart about all students make calculus, take calculus to note that, all right, um, sine and cosine are positive in here, which makes tangent positive. Uh, sine is positive here, cosine is negative here, and that makes tangent uh, negative because a positive divided by a negative is negative. Uh, two negatives here, positive, and a positive and a negative makes it negative. We also made the reference that um, sine sort of corresponds with our y value. So if we look at our y value, it's above 0 in 1 and 2, below 0 in 3 and 4. Our x's are above 0 in 1 and 4, below 0 in 2 and 3, right? So keeping that in mind, all of that together, then we have shouldn't have too much problem figuring out, right, if I say the reference angle and or find the angle in quadrant four, and you know, well, sine's negative in quadrant four, so it'll be 327. That was kind of where that went to. I left the class off with a question that we'll solve next hour. Nine, going through the point negative nine and negative 12, uh, find what uh, sine, cos, and tangent value are, and then the angle that produces that, and uh, we'll see what answers you get next hour. Thanks for watching.